I'm Lee Garner in with some breaking news from our Tuscaloosa newsroom. Now, just hours ago, a plane traveling from Kissimmee, Florida to Oxford, Mississippi crashed just outside of the Tuscaloosa Regional Airport. We've got a live look at the scene for you right now. We spoke with Lieutenant Tina Richardson with the Tuscaloosa Police Department a little bit earlier on today. She tells us that there were at least six people on board at the time of that crash, and unfortunately, no one survived. Now, the crash happened around 1120 just off of County Road 86 in Tuscaloosa County. That's near a local para park. City officials tell us they aren't sure if anyone was actually at the park at the time of that crash. A spokesperson with the Tuscaloosa Police Department also tells us the pilot acknowledged on board trouble and that a distress signal was actually sent out. Our crew spoke with Northport Mayor Bobby Herndon just shortly after this crash. Bobby, what happened? Well, uh, from everything we can gather, there was an aircraft uh, landing in at the Tuscaloosa Regional Airport. It had sent out a distress signal. Uh, Tuscaloosa Fire Department had their airport fire trucks on standby, hoping that the plane was going to land, but it, uh, it fell short and fell in this park that is uh, run by Park and Recreation of Tuscaloosa County. Uh, there are fatalities. Um, we're waiting on FAA to get here to take charge of the scene. Uh, NTSB out of Atlanta should be here in three or four hours. There'll be people out here around the clock piecing together what happened. I uh, just want everybody to keep the families of the, uh, the victims in your prayers. Um, don't know the identities or anything yet, but uh, from everything we gathered, the plane was going to be landing at the Tuscaloosa Regional Airport. And again, we just want to recap some of the things that you have already heard. The crash happened just outside of the Tuscaloosa Regional Airport around 11:20, 11:30 today. The crash actually happened at a local park in Tuscaloosa County. We're not sure if anybody was at the park at the time. We have been told that all of the people that were on board the plane were killed. That's at least six people. Again, we do not have their identities at this time. And we've recently heard, just in the past couple of minutes, that the FAA has actually arrived on the scene. We will continue to gather more information for you and bring you the latest coming up on our news at 530. For now, we're going to turn you back over to the PGA Tour that is already in progress. This has been a WIAT 42 breaking news report. Coverage you can count on.